Hello, everyone. Uh, now we still are talking about language acquisition. This is going to be the last part in uh, theme six about language acquisition. Uh, in this theme, still we are talking about the cognitive approach to language acquisition. And in this part of this theme, we will talk about imp the implications of the cognitive approach and, of course, as we did with the behavior approach to language acquisition, the limitations of the cognitive approach. Of course, in the previous uh, part of the, uh, this, uh, this theme, talking about the cognitive approach, just to remind you that we said that uh, uh, the, the, the importance that was given by uh, the cognitive approach to, language to our first language acquisition uh, was in the fact that it gave importance to the mind. It neglected that idea that was uh, focused on by the behave behavioral approach to language acquisition, which uh, presupposes, which posits that humans acquire their L1 only because of that process of conditioning and that exposure to the external environment. Conditioning, exter external environment, exposure to external environment, repetition, memorization, and then acquisition of L1. Cognitive approach came and said that we cannot acquire language only through this process. There is something more sophisticated. There is something more developed than conditioning. What is it? it here it focuses uh, the cognitive approach. Cognit cognitive approach focuses on the role of the mind, the mental processes, cognitive process. We have talked about this in the previous part of language acquisition. And the leader of this new idea was Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky suggested in one of his uh, uh, in, in, in his literature that uh, how can we or how we can how we we humans can explain that idea to acquire language through conditioning but when it comes to children they sometimes are able to produce sentences that they have never heard before to produce very complex forms of language without uh, imitating them from other people, adults. How can we explain this? He, in his answer, Chomsky said, said that simply because he believed in this idea that we humans acquire language not because we are exposed to the external world, rather because we are born with a certain mental capacity. We are born with a mental capacity, mental ability mental mechanism that he labeled, that he named language acquisition device. That Chomsky named this mental capacity language acquisition device or in an abbreviated form, the lab, the lab, this mental organ. Sometimes we refer to language acquisition, the language acquisition device, the lab as a mental organ. According to Chomsky, it's that mental organ, the lad, that enables us humans to acquire our L1 and not the exposure to the environment. Of course, later on we will say that exposure is there, present, it, it is needed, but it's not the primary reason that helps us to acquire our L1. It's the lad, this mental capacity. Without it, we cannot acquire our L1. By the way, according again to Chomsky, the lad is unique to humans. We humans are born with it. That means other creatures, including animals, why animals are not like us, able to acquire language? They produce only sounds. Simply because they do not possess this lad. And this lad is what helps us to acquire our L1 at an early age. And we are born with it. And something else, according to Chomsky, the lad decreases with age until time comes when it will disappear. I repeat this. 
the lad we are born with it and it is perfect at the beginning of our age at an early uh, uh, early stage in our ages when we are infants but with age it starts decreasing little by little step by step it decreases until totally it disappears that's why chomsky said that means after the critical age it is difficult sometimes impossible to acquire our l1 this is how he explained the lad decreases with age until time comes it disappears and with age it totally leaves and we humans are no more able to acquire another language but to learn another language to learn here we come back to the difference between acquisition and learning and this is the main explanation of chomsky i repeat we humans we acquire our language because we are born and we are predisposed to be born with a mental capacity that enables us to produce land however as with what we did with the behavior approach to language acquisition or l1 it had it has some limitations the cognitive approach or the mental uh, explanation to language acquisition or the cognitive approach to, to, to l1 acquisition also presents some limitations for, for those who uh, criticized uh, Chomsky's uh, lad and his main idea regarding language acquisition, L1 acquisition, language acquisition is of totally inborn nature, nor it, it is. It is not, sorry, there is a mistake in this slide. Language is not a totally inborn nature, nor it is a, just a matter of biological makeup. Uh, the use of imitation cannot be totally denied or eliminated. Imitation and repetition do exist in language acquisition. Of course, they are not the main factors that lead to language acquisition. To summarize these two ideas, first, some, some people, some scholars, said there is no evidence of the presence of the land. There is no evidence. It's just a hypothesis. They said we cannot justify the presence. That's why biologically speaking and even even in terms of explanation uh, reasonable explanation and biologically there is no mental or that's why they refuse the idea of the land and the second idea it is that they said chomsky somehow did not give importance to imitation and criticized the idea of uh, imitation repetition the basic principles of the behavior approach to language acquisition or L1 acquisition. But Chomsky, uh, sorry, uh, the opponents to Chomsky said that, in fact, when it comes to acquire our L1, we need imitation. There is some imitation. Imitation is important. We believe it's important, but it could not be number one. Which simply means, in other words, we, we may acquire our language using following the explanation of chomsky the lad but imitation is there is present so this is the second limitation uh, to uh, uh, l1 acquisition according to chomsky thank you very much indeed